um, in the chat, we had Key Code, who says, GameStop employees are forced to push the membership, meaning the magazine. Yeah. Uh, I have read their jobs are threatened if they do not do scummy things. Uh, and that's why we're talking about this. Yeah. Because uh, I worked there for a while. Yeah. I don't remember how many years, but it was like 2008. Yeah. To like 2010. And then I worked there like once a month for like another two years or so. Mm -hmm. Um, so I know what that was like and it was miserable. Uh, fortunately I worked at a GameStop that had a great manager and she didn't really care about me selling subscriptions and stuff. Uh, but that doesn't mean she wasn't getting in trouble by the, the higher ups. Right. She, she was able to, she, she was well liked and she kind of yelled back at the, at the higher ups yeah. when, when things weren't going, uh, all that great. Oh, in terms of subscriptions and stuff. So GameStop was forcing, basically uh, forces all employees to try to get as many power-up subscriptions as possible. That's the, uh, the, the, the rewards card that is paid for, that gives you points and you get some, some stupid knickknacks on their website. Yeah. Uh, but more importantly, it gives you 10% off of used games. Uh, but the membership costs $15 a month. Is it a month or a year? Uh, I don't know, actually. I think it's a year. I have... $50 is a lot yeah. for a month. Probably a year. Uh, it's a year, says Mega Dragon. It's been a while. So <laughs> there. Uh, $15 a year, uh, but it gets you 10% off of used games. So right. what I would do... Oh, and this, this reward, this $15 a year membership got you a monthly subscription to Game Informer magazine. Yeah. So we would sell it as a magazine subscription. But what I would do is if somebody bought $150 worth of used stuff, which didn't happen often because mm -hmm. we were like the least busy store on Long Island. Uh, if someone bought $150 worth of used stuff, they, I would say, hey, you got a free magazine subscription with this. Yeah. And it gets you 10% off of stuff for the rest of the year. That's the only time I would ever sell the subscription. Right. There's... I would never even try to push it on anybody. Yeah. There were some times when corporate would be around and you have to kind of like ham it up for yeah. them. But like that almost never happened to us. Um, and my manager didn't really care. Uh, she was, she was cool with it. There was other stuff though that they do like, uh, pre-orders. Yeah. Always Not, forcing pre-orders. on. Always them. forcing pre-orders. So, uh, I would always like, Kind of be like, hey, are you interested in the new Call of Duty? I could pre-order for you. Yeah. You know, everybody wanted Call of Duty. That would usually work. But uh, what some GameStops do is they will uh, constantly pre-order stuff for you. So if you have a bunch of pre-orders, let's say you pre-ordered Call of Duty. Yeah. And you didn't come to pick it up. What these people would do is they would take your pre-order and pre-order something else. Right. So that it looks like you're constantly pre-ordering yeah. stuff. So you might show up at a GameStop and see that you got all this shit pre-ordered that doesn't make any sense. Or mm -hmm. maybe you put down more than $5 on a game. Let's say you put down $15 on a game. Yeah, They'll split that into three different pre-orders. So that it looks like they, they got a bunch yeah. of stuff. There's all these different ways that employees would fuck with the system to make it look like they're doing better than they are. And it ends up being this weird culture to the, to the consumers because they're either getting fucked over by being forced to get this subscription that they don't want mm -hmm. or they're getting weird things pre-ordered under their name or something. Um, there's a lot of weird stuff like that. I've also seen customers straight up just get the subscription added to their purchase yeah. without them even knowing that that's mm -hmm. happening. Um, there's another thing where it was uh, warranties. They wanted us to, to sell warranties yeah. to people. Uh, I only ever sold warranties to moms who were buying Call of Duty or Madden because mm -hmm. the Xbox 360 used to eat, eat those yeah, discs yeah. if they played them too much. Uh, and I'd be like, hey, there's a $3 warranty if you if you think your kids might break the game. They're like, oh, yeah, they're going to break it. Put it on there. So that's how I would sell those. But, uh, yes, uh, GameStop's corporate culture uh, kind of influ uh, incentivizes the, the people who work there to fuck over customers. Uh, and here's an example of it that happened recently. Uh, GameStop is promoting right now 
They got these Pokemon cards that are free. Free promo Pikachu in store. Totally free. Please come today while supplies last. Wow. No purchase necessary. Hurry in. Would be nice if you buy some cards too. No purchase necessary. That's but it would important. be nice if you buy some cards too. Philly beats you, friend of the show. Says, uh, the GameStop I went to forced me to buy the newest products to get this free card. I had to spend $20 on two tins since they were the cheapest, newest products. One for myself and one for a giveaway. This is a complete lie that all GameStops do not follow. That doesn't surprise me at all. So, the promotion is come in and get a card. And we used yeah. to do stuff like that. Like, we would have, like, come in and and get a, a, a fucking shiny Lugia. I don't know. A, like, lot of, a lot of stores do that. Yeah. Yeah, and it's just to get you in the store. Yeah. Uh... This is a GameStop employee who just fucking was like, no, I want a sale. Like, yeah. it's ridiculous. Um, and I responded, GameStop shitty management encourages employees to lie and manipulate cons- uh, customers to get their numbers up. It's amazing. There hasn't been an FTC investigation after all this time. Yeah. So again, I never really got in too much trouble for like not pushing all the dumb sale stuff. Yeah. Uh, I did get yelled at once by a district manager because... The day before the sales were bad and I wasn't even there and I yeah. wasn't even like a manager or anything. So I had no authority over anybody. So mm-hmm. I was like, why are you yelling at me? I wasn't <laughs> even there. And they're like, well, it's your store. And I was like, yeah. okay, sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Um, but yeah, I, I never really cared or got in trouble for this stuff, but I did see other employees lie and manipulate uh, customers to get their numbers higher and they were never questioned about their high numbers. Right. But I know that they were do they were stealing from customers basically. Mm-hmm. They were just blatantly uh, manipulating customers into getting their own numbers yeah. up for no fucking reason. These are all college students who are not being promoted. Yeah. <laughs> it was just a an absolute waste. Um but again, my own experience at GameStop wasn't so bad, but you were looking at uh, uh, other stores and other people's it's, experiences and the uh, the corporate culture, and you could see how yeah, uh, it's it seems bad. like you were the you were the exception yeah. to the general rule, which was... also like I have a head on my shoulders. This is why I'm not trying to like right. fuck over customers because I'm looking at it from their perspective. Right, other people are being coaxed into fucking over. Well, customers. like you said, you know, most GameStop employees are like teenagers. Who are, you know, scared or nervous or whatever. They just think they have a cool job working at a video game store. Yeah. And, like, their boss is saying, like, you have to do X, Y, and Z. And they're being incentivized yeah. to, to be uh, weird about it. Yeah. Sardi says, yeah, I had one employee try to do that for a Pokemon game code last year. But homie next to him said, no, it's free. Look at this email. And pulled it up on their computer. Uh, I think Philly Beats said he... uh. Someone said that they showed them, and then they were, they were like, no, you have to buy something or something, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Um, there was one time I manipulated a middle school kid. I'll talk about that. <laughs> uh, they used to come and hang out in the store all the time, and I said, hey, you want a free game? Go get me a Snickers from the 7-Eleven. <laughs> and he went and got Snickers and nice. came back, and I gave him like a pennied out PlayStation 2 yeah. game or something that was free. Nice. So... There's my FTC violation. There's yeah. my con- contribution to I the mean, GameStop, GameStop lawsuit. I mean, GameStop used to do a lot of, like, weird things. Like, you know, you ever go into a GameStop and you see, like, the the, dis- the display games on the shelf? Those are, like, games you would have to, like, open yeah. up from the, open up the seal. Yeah, so. Take ev- the disc out and, like, display so, it. it. It's very strange because yeah. there's, like, the new release section, which are marketing that they shipped the store yeah it's like a piece of paper that you put in a game case. yeah so it's a, it's not a real game mm-hmm. but then there's the new re- there's the there's the uh, uh new section of yeah. all new games and those are real games that mm-hmm. we gutted yeah we opened up took the game and put on the wall it could very easily be a piece of marketing but instead yeah. they they made us open a brand new game and yeah. put it up there so yes you're referring to how People are mad yeah. when they go to buy a new game and it's the last copy. So it's the gutted one yeah. that's on the wall. 
and the store would sell it as new. Yeah. And that's your job is to that's, sell it as new. It's that. It's when, you know, you would, like you said, penny out stock and like get rid of it. Most of the time, you're supposed to ship that back to the manufacturer. Yeah. GameStops would like tell their employees to break the discs and throw it in the trash or like, oh, you so know, that would be, damage systems. That would be the pennied out. out stuff. Yeah. Uh, Mecha, who is it? Someone in the chat. Uh, Mega Dragon, yeah. Bob, have you ever seen those dumpster divers at GameStop that you worked at? I've seen stories of people digging into their dumpsters. Yeah, because they used to throw out stuff all the time. Like, uh, yeah, Guitar Hero controllers. And there was, I worked there when it was the Guitar Hero Exodus, yeah. when <laughs> all of the games were uh, not selling good yeah. anymore, and people were trying to trade in their guitars, and we had too many guitars. Yeah. So people would just leave them in the store. They'd be like, I don't, I'm not taking these home. My wife yeah. won't let me take them home, so just take them. Uh, there would be uh, strategy guides every week. Strategy guides would go in the trash. Yeah, I was the dumpster diver. I took everything off. Yeah, <laughs> until I realized these are dumb, and I I stopped taking some of this. Yeah. Um, we would try to give out like as much stuff as possible. Yeah, because what are they gonna like? We what are they gonna do? Fire us? Okay, I I I'll, <laughs> I'll be all right. Um. I loved when new stores opened up because we would send the bad penny games to them to unload. <laughs> to unload our inventory. Um, I went to buy Crash on Switch to use and brought up the case. The dude tried to swap the case out for the crap GameStop case because it's the policy. And that's not a policy. Yeah. He then said, screw it, and gave me the real case. Maybe he just wanted to seem like he was doing me a solid. Uh, yeah, that's dumb. I would try to, if you wanted the case, I'd be, I I would ask. I would say, do you want the case or do you not care? Because yeah. some people don't care. Some people throw out the case. Some people yeah. just put it in a little DVD thing. Um, but I don't care. It's uh, I'm it's I I fucking don't own GameStop. Like I don't yeah. care. I want the person who's in front of me to be happy. I don't care about the corporate overlords. I'm yeah. not. I'm in college. I'm not here forever. <laughs> You know? Anyway. Anyway, I had a good time. I just fucking hung out. Uh, yeah. Moms would come in and, and ask for the new Call of Duty. Uh, uh, you had that the, new I, war you game. You had the experience that most people think they're getting when they, when they work at a GameStop. You just hang out, talk about video games, and try to sell parents on, like, good video games versus bad ones. Yeah. But, it, like, it that's totally not fun. the norm. Yeah. You know, you heard all these, like, horror stories during the pandemic of, like, GameStop trying to weasel their way into being an essential, uh, employ, uh, essential business because they sell, uh, they sell keyboards, so they they're good for work from home people. They're an essential business, <laughs> you know. Telling employees like, oh, do a TikTok challenge and we'll take an hour off your, uh, your timesheet or whatever. You I know? worked there. It was either hurricane. they do. They would do a lot of that. They would do a lot of like weird like contests to like force employees to like you know maybe get you know an extra hour pay or like a day off or like yeah and they would they would yell at you if you if did you didn't do poorly it. Yeah. If, if you perform poorly i worked there i think it was during hurricane irene and we i was yeah. closing the store and we were closing early because it was a fucking hurricane and there was like a protocol like put the take the registers put them on top of the yeah. thing so that it, if, if it floods the registers don't get destroyed or whatever um and the guy who was at like the store next to mine mm -hmm. kept calling me and like asking what he's supposed to do, and yeah. I was like, "Dude, I don't, know. I, 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 I've never done this before. Yeah. I, I'm just, just do your best, like whatever." He, and he goes, "I gotta drive forty five minutes. I live on the coast, mm -hmm. and they're evacuating it, and I'm gonna miss the evacuation time. Like, like he's yeah. not gonna be able to get to his house to evacuate his house." Right. And I was like, "Dude." close the store and go yeah <laughs> and he's like no nah, i got I, I got a lot to do here still and i was like dude who fucking cares about the store <laughs> yeah. just go home that's your yeah. stuff and he's like okay okay and then 45 minutes later he calls me back he's like i think i got the registers disconnected i'm like dude <laughs> fucking leave everything how it is don't even yeah. lock up just go home what's the worst that can happen you lose your job you're gonna lose all of your yeah. stuff here fuck this place dude but that's like you know the mentality of fear that like they instill yeah. in their employees you know uh i brought up on the show before the the movie dumb money about the gamestop you know meme stock situation and it actually does a really good job of showing like just how shitty you know games gamestop corporate treats you know the people who work at brick and mortar stores like there's a whole subplot about that and like i'm sure watching with my wife and going like that's all true that's yeah, they really like 
they really don't know yeah. anything. They, there, there's a uh, uh, Reggie was on the board. Yeah, Reggie Fizeme was yeah. on the board. Nintendo's old president. Long Island's own. Uh, he was on the board at GameStop after he retired from Nintendo. This was very recently, mm-hmm. and he left the board and said, "Those people don't know anything about video yeah. games." That's what he. That's what Reggie said about GameStop. Yeah, I do not like. Years ago, they tried to like diversify when people weren't buying games in store anymore. They bought Think Geek because yeah. the, the idea was, well, you know, we'll just diversify and do like, you know, adjacent stuff like geek culture stuff and that went tits up because like people there was the same mentality they had when selling video games and stuff applied now to funko pops and like shit like that i had a really bad experience with gamestop but <laughs> in 2021 do you remember what this? toy did you get i bought <laughs> i bought the ghostbusters i bought all four go- original ghostbusters because the the plasma series had come out and they were all on sale i'm like oh great i'm gonna get them for less than retail I bought them in January. It took me six months to get them all because they would send out one like a month late. And then I would just keep emailing them and like tweeting at them. Hey, what's going on with my order? Then I got another one. And then I just kept bother- like asking like, hey, it's been like how many months? And I, I, in like June of that year, I'm like, hey, it's been six months. Where are my other two figures? And GameStop emailed me back saying, here's your money back. We've canceled the order. And so, like, of course, so you only got half of. The- well, no, I complained about it on Twitter, like big time, and then GameStop privately messaged me. He's like, "Oh, we're so sorry. We're just gonna send you the figures." Yeah, for your but charge. like that's but not that good enough. Not happen- that should not have happened. It should not have yeah. taken that long to get it four toys. But it should not take clout to do it either. And I don't even have <laughs> clout. This is me we're talking about here, not him. Me still, you shouldn't have to publicly. I know ad- address it for them to fix that issue. And, that's an issue. And there were like a lot of other like shitty things that happened along the way. Like you know, one of the figures was out of stock. That's why it took so long to send. But then all of a sudden, it was back on their website. Mm-hmm. And I said like, "Hey, this says it's in stock. Why aren't you sending it to me?" Oh, that figure is in stock, not the one you ordered. You would have to buy that figure. And then we would send it to you, even though it's the same goddamn yeah. toy. And and it, it's because they're a bad company that they're not doing well. It's yeah. not because uh, physical media is dying. It's no, because they have really just had no relationship with customers whatsoever. And it just it boggles the mind because it's very clear that they are a bad company. They're a poorly run company. Like all the individual stores are like doing worse and worse, and yet somehow they are still alive and they are still like making money on the stock market. They are so stock rich from that one fucking month in January of 2021 when they had all the meme stock, and now all of a sudden, like they're just riding that high, thinking it'll happen again when it won't. Uh, Seth. Hammer says, I remember when employees were fired for planking in store. Then at the manager conference during a presentation, a C-suite person made fun of it by taking a picture of planking in a store. It did not go over well. I planked in the store and took a picture of it. Yeah. I remember. So (laughs) if you're young, planking is when you just (laughs) were stiff as a board. Yeah. Lying on something. That's it. You just took no, a picture it. of it. And it's always funny. This is before TikTok. Also, every year they would have a conference where they'd fly all the managers of GameStop over to Texas. Yeah. Maybe that's why the company's dying because they spent all of their money on yeah. that shit. Um, yeah, somewhere I have a picture of me at a GameStop planking. And you know what? I didn't get fired. I think I put it on Facebook. Um... Someone else in the in YouTube's chat said, "Did you ever uh, have to explain to parents about rated M games?" Yes, when I worked at the Roosevelt Field Mall, I remember a uh, kid wanted to uh, to buy the Ballad of Gay Tony, the, yeah. the like collection with all of the yeah, yeah. Grand Theft Auto games. Um, and I was like, "Just so you know, it's rated M for uh, uh, violence and, and 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 stuff." And they're like, "Okay," and I said, 
and you see a dude's <laughs> dick in it. And he's like, like no, they were not, your son can't have this. I said, no, I said there is full frontal male nudity. Yeah. And they're like, no, no, my son cannot see this. Yeah. So that's where, that's where the parents were at. Yeah. They didn't care if there was violence. I had to explicitly say yeah. that there, you see a dude's dick. Um, I guess that's all we have to say about shitting on GameStop. Uh, yeah. Um, I think bottom line, just don't, don't shop there. Just don't shop there. There's no reason to anymore. There's no there's, reason there's, to. I have not gone into a GameStop in a really, really long time. Yeah. It's been a really long time since I've willingly gone into a GameStop. Same. I think yeah. the last time might have been I needed a pair of Joy-Con and I wanted to get the used ones when I made right. the gold Joy-Con in like 2017 or 2018. Yeah. That might have been the last time I willingly went into a my GameStop. last GameStop. I can't remember the last time I've been in a GameStop, but my last GameStop experience was the Ghostbusters situation, and I haven't haven't been back since. You know, and I don't think any any one of you listening or watching should do the same. They're not, you know, they're not a good company. Don't give them their business. This is a situation where it's okay if it goes out of business. Yeah, because absolutely. the world would be better off without GameStop. Um. I did. I have shopped online though. When they have some, they have some sales. I've been tempted, but like I've, I was so burned by the the Ghostbusters situation. I'm just like, no, thank you. Now here's the contradiction. We are upset that a bunch of game journalists lost their jobs, but we're advocating for GameStop to get shut well, down. Well, I mean, look, you see it all the time. Like GameStop employees who work at the brick and mortar stores are shutting down the stores and quitting voluntarily. Yeah, they'll post signs on the on the door it's, saying like. The whole staff quit. It's inevitable. Yeah. It's inevitable that uh, a lot of stores are going to get shut down. Yeah. They they made too many stores. Yeah. We, I think we talked about this last week, how on Long Island, there's two in every mall uh -huh. and one outside of every mall. And they've shut down most of them, yeah. I think, by now. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's a GameStop. I think it's on Sunrise Highway. Yeah, it's close. It's uh, around it's, the it's, area. It's, it's so close. Yeah. <laughs> There's one that is a standalone. Yeah. It's its own building. Yeah. And we're like, every time I drive by it, I'm like, this is the only standalone <laughs> GameStop on Long Island. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember when GameStop had exclusive content for games. Uh, yeah, well, let's not go back to those days either. Yeah. Because that was also, and that was a weird time because, like, you know, companies, the video game publishers would try to find ways to, you know, destroy the the used game market. Specifically, that was that's GameStop's cash cow. Um, and then they would also do things like, you know, free DLC if you pre-order at GameStop. Uh, did I thank Farmer Gooch for five dollars? Thank you so much. Um, that's it. We're done ranking on GameStop.